monkey in your pants. Alright then, folks. No, I'd say alright then, folks, because one of my mates takes the piss all the time. Um, so I've got to think of a new thing. Damn. It's been a while. That should be my catchphrase. Monkey Spars 5000 back with another video. And this is five. It's not top gaming memories, but five random gaming memories. A bit of background for this, um, the, t the day that this goes live I will be at a friend's house down south where we randomly have sort of gaming nights, if you like retro gaming nights where we end up getting drunk, playing video games etc. But um, it's at retro weekend, we're doing a couple of nights so hangovers galore and feeling like rubbish for the next of the week. The next of the week, the rest of the week afterwards I should say. But, um, excuse my voice, I've had a bit of a man flu so I'm not feeling the best but basically there's five of us going there and we decided we'd all make a video on our five, it's not top, five gaming memories, five five random gaming memories. I do not know and we said no, make it too long because then we'll all be sitting there sleeping by the time we've watched, watched each other's videos. I can't even talk, it's been a while, it has been a while. So it's been that long, I've actually got a different camera, so if things look weird, sound weird, apologies. Um, I've not even properly played with this thing yet, so I do apologise. But it's five gaming memories, and we're going to start now. First memory is um, the, first, the first time, it was the time I should say, that I um, got my first gaming system that was actually a proper system rather than like a... Tiger handheld electronic thing, or you know, like um, uh, oh, is it Astro Wars? It is Astro Wars, but it's not that's not that a proper gaming console. I think I was five, six years old, maybe so 1984, 1985, maybe 1986, maybe I was seven. I do not know. You'll have to excuse my voice if it starts going. Um, I remember coming down Christmas Day, and there was a big box in the living room. And um, inside that box was a, a portable TV, a 14 inch CRT portable TV. And also inside that big box was an Atari 2600. Um, it was a junior version. I thought it was the absolute dog's dangly bollocks when I got it. I was like, oh my god, this is so much better than Tiger Handheld Electronics or Astro Wars by about a million. It's my own thing. But in reality, the machine was very nearly 10 years old. It was old technology. My parents had swindled me somewhat. Maybe I should have got something better. But that was my first gaming system, so it is a memory that always sticks with me. And um, I had that system for a long time, and I loved it as well. So that's memory number one. I also forgot this thing's not allowed to be more than 12 minutes long, so I might have to do some swift editing. So the next memory was, I've mentioned them a lot of times, um, one of my um, childhood friends, if you like, We'll class them as one. Two brothers, Andy and Craig, they are also sitting watching this video because I'm at one of their houses. Been at both their houses this weekend. But anyway, um, spent a lot of time with them growing up, so a lot of memories of all, a lot of memories of a wide variety of memories um, covering different subjects of life in general were made with those two people involved. But, um, one in particular, I used to always stay at their house on a Friday night, it was some weird religious cult thing. I'm not saying they had a weird religious cult, but it was like every Friday night I stayed at their house. Um, it's just what we're done, it's Jim's staying tonight, yeah, Jim's staying tonight. Um, but I remember waking up one morning, uh, I think a parcel came, and um, what it was, it was their Mega 500 Plus came, cartoon classics. Um, obviously, I would have known what... I don't know if I knew what it was for at the time, or obviously they would have said what it was, but I think it was for their Christmas present, but they were allowed to open it and use it for a little bit. No idea how that worked, maybe just to try and test it to make sure it works. But um, memory that sticks in my head is not necessarily the box or them opening it or what it looked like, but it was um, Simpsons, um, Bart, Bart versus the Space Mutants, I think it's called. Um, anybody who's played it on the Amiga, it's possibly on the PC as well that it has this, but I'm sure one of the discs alone is a, it's like a, what do you call it, an animated introduction to the game I should say, and back then 
mind blowing nowadays a little bit rough but yeah sparks versus the space mutants my words are still failing me on the mega 500 1200 500 plus 600 you know what i'm saying the intro for that game um and being there that morning when it came always sticks in my mind next memory um it's again it's at the brother coops oh, the brother coops the brother's coop the Brothers Coop, that, that's better, um, is at their house. They were one of the only few people that I knew, or were the only people that I knew that had a 3DO at launch. I'm talking, is it the FZ? No, I might get it wrong, FZ10. The one with the slotty tray thing, if you know what I mean. Um, I remember it sitting in their bedroom, um, playing it, playing Need for Speed on it, I think it was with no sound and one of the main reasons that I remember it it's combining gaming and music is um, they used to pay, play Count and Crow's August and Everything After album on while the game was being played I think it was Craig Coop, the younger of the two brothers um, and I used to hate that music, hate it, hate it, hate it but then I think it, we were there that many times playing the 3DO and that, that album playing that for some reason, um, I don't know if I was brainwashed, but it ended up being one of my favourite albums of all time. And that's linked with um, playing the 3DO and playing Need for Speed as well in the 3DO. So it's something that always sticks with me. But it was a bizarre one. They brainwashed me into liking music that I never liked, but now I do like. <laughs> I'm checking off my list. Next one. Um, primary school. I think I was primary... That's been primary five at the time actually. Um, a new boy came to the school um, and he lived maybe five or ten minutes walk from where I was living at the time. And um, me being me back then, I was always fascinated by computers, really into them, consoles, gaming, etc. And obviously, I somehow got talking to this chap, the chap in question was a guy called Mark Carver. Um, he said, he, I think he had a computer, it was actually a Spectrum 128K Plus 2, the grey machine got one sitting over there somewhere um, and we somehow got talking about it and as kids back then you got sort of really excited um, about talking about the different games that he plays and what it could do and stuff I think at the time I maybe hadn't seen or properly played a Spectrum and um, we got into the discussion of oh, being able to play two player games but he only had one joystick and me I still had my Atari 2600 and um, I was a little bit older then but I still had it um, we said that, I said that oh I have a joystick oh I can come round and bring it round and we can play two player games and um, so I remember going home and um, basically going home straight after school getting the joystick pegging it round to his house now I didn't know that joysticks although had the same plugs back then days that they didn't necessarily work with each other well I didn't know up until that point in time I should say and we're really excited, we're going to play all these two-player games that he's never had a chance to play two-player before. And I was excited getting to play this new fandangled machine that I hadn't really seen before. And then um, plug the tire joystick in and it, it didn't do shit all, did it? Like I say, the plugs look the same, but um, it didn't work. So we're a little bit disappointed. But did manage to play some games. I think we figured out that you could actually play them with keys. For some reason, I think I remember playing... Um, flying shark and I think you can sort of play it as two player but one person only activates the bombs or something weird something weird like that sticks in my head anyway it was the day that I learned Atari 2600 joysticks didn't work on spectrums so I think we might be doing all right for time here but the last memory is um what is it I forgot no I didn't um, it's another ZX Spectrum related memory. Um, one Christmas at my cousin's house, uh, I think me and my mum used to always go round there sort of Christmas morning for a period of time. Um, and they or he had got a Spectrum for his Christmas, 128K plus 2. It was the James, I was going to say James Pond, James Bond Park. Um, with the light gun and some various other games and I remember sitting at, set, them setting it up I should say on the little living room table like in, in the middle of the sofa it's probably what you call a coffee table setting it up there and um, playing the Spectrum but I remember in particular playing the James Bond games 
and I also remember for some reason this always always sticks with me is playing um, the Cauldron games. Now I don't know if you had them on like a, a double pack thing, Cauldron 1 or 2, but I certainly remember playing them. Um, it's a weird memory for some reason Cauldron, the game, always always makes me think of then, that time, um, playing games or playing Spectrum games with my cousin, but it's um, it's something I hold dear as a sort of cherished memory. Um, my cousin passed away three years ago, unfortunately. Um, he was a couple of years younger than me, so it's one of those rare um, sort of things that stay stay with you, sort of good childhood memories. But yeah, certainly, Spectrum playing at my cousin's house in Cauldron, for some weird reason, always, always sticks in my mind. You've got no idea how many times I've had to stop and have a drink of liquid. Ooh, Super Nintendo. Uh, because my throat's a little bit buggered. But there you go, um, a little quick random video of five retro gaming memories. This video could have, would have, probably normally have been a little bit longer. But like I say, we inflicted, inflicted, imposed, a self-imposed time limit. Um, but you've got my friends to thank for me making another video. Um, and I'll maybe make another one soon. And to quote one of my friends, Oosh! Do you have a monkey in your pants?